Introduction As we have discussed earlier that every living organism taken the food material by the process of nutrition provides energy for various life processes. Respiration is an oxidative process involving the oxidation of food substances such as carbohydrates, fats and proteins within the tissues to form CO2, water and consequent release of energy. The released energy is temporarily stored as ATP. There is big difference between breathing and respiration. I know that breathing is simply exchange of gases. Yes, Ankita, during breathing an organism takes in oxygen from the environment and gives out carbon dioxide. While respiration is a complex process during which digested food is oxidized to release chemical energy. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Find out types of respiration on the basis of use of oxygen Understand anaerobic and aerobic respiration Find out the whole process of respiration in lower and higher animals Understand human respiratory system Understand structure and functions of nostrils, nasal cavity, larynx, trachea Bronchi, bronchiole, alveoli, lungs, diaphragm. Find out pulmonary volumes and capacities. Understand transport of gases in blood. Study respiratory quotient, RQ. Understand ill effects of smoking. Types of respiration Respiration is of two types. Anaerobic respiration and aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration is the respiration without oxygen, while aerobic respiration is respiration that requires oxygen. Do you know that in higher animals, whole process of respiration includes external respiration, internal respiration and cellular respiration. Anaerobic respiration when food is oxidized without using molecular oxygen, the respiration is called anaerobic respiration. Some common examples are anaerobic bacteria, yeast, parasitic worms like Ascaris, Tania, Fasciola, etc. In microorganisms, the term fermentation is more commonly used in place of anaerobic respiration. Fermentation is defined as the anaerobic breakdown of carbohydrates and other organic compounds into alcohols, organic acids, gases, etc. with the help of microorganisms or their enzymes. Aerobic respiration When oxygen is used for respiration, it is called aerobic respiration. Examples most plants and animals. Do you know when there is a lack of oxygen in our muscle cells? Then pyruvate is converted into lactic acid, which is also a three carbon molecule. If we perform any sudden activity, then cramps are caused in our muscles due to the formation of lactic acid. External respiration External respiration is the process by which gases are exchanged between the blood and the air. It is a physical process. It is simply the intake of oxygen and giving out of carbon dioxide. It involves two phases, inspiration and expiration. Inspiration is a process by which fresh air enters in the lungs. In this, diaphragm becomes flat and gets lowered by the contraction of its muscle fibers and increases the volume of the thoracic cavity. The external intercostal muscles contract and pull the ribs and sternum upwards and outwards direction and thus the volume of thoracic cavity is increased. Expiration is a process by which CO2 is expelled out from the lungs. 
Muscles fibers of the diaphragm relax, make it convex, decreasing the volume of the thoracic cavity. External intercostal muscles relax and pull the ribs downwards and inwards direction, thus decreasing the size of the thoracic cavity. Internal respiration Internal respiration is the process by which gases are exchanged between blood and tissue fluid and between tissue fluid and cells. Cellular respiration Cellular respiration is the process by which cells use oxygen for metabolism and give off CO2 as a waste. Exchange of gases in lower animals in lower organisms, there is no special organ for respiration. So, cell in unicellular and every cell in multicellular organisms of the body take part in respiration. Every cell is in direct contact with water, therefore is direct exchange of oxygen of surrounding water and carbon dioxide of body cells. This is known as body surface respiration. Oxygen inside the mitochondria of cells is used in the oxidation of glucose to produce CO2, water and energy-rich molecules. Some common examples are amoeba, paramecium, sponges and cylindrates. Exchange of gases in higher animals. In higher organisms, the body wall is thick. As a result, diffusion is not possible and they have high metabolic rate, so they require high energy. As required, higher animals have special respiratory organs for exchange of gases. They also have blood vascular system to transport oxygen and CO2 between the respiratory organ and the body cells. Exchange of gases in higher animals may be through skin, gills, trachea or lungs. Skin respiration is found in annelids and amphibians. Exchange of gases occurs through skin which is thin, moist vascular and permeable. It is also called cutaneous respiration. Gill respiration is found in crustaceans, cartilage fishes, bony fishes and tadpoles of amphibians. It is also called branchial respiration. Oxygen is received from water. Exchange of oxygen of water and CO2 of blood capillaries present in gill lamellae occur when water passes through the gills. Tracheal respiration is found in all insects. Respiratory organs are highly branched air tubes known as trachea. These tracheas are connected to air by small openings called spiracles. Lung respiration is found in land animals and man. Respiratory organs are lungs. It is also known as pulmonary respiration. It occurs with the help of respiratory system. Human respiratory system Structurally and functionally, the conducting part of human respiratory system is highly complicated. The mammalian respiratory system consists of nostrils, nasal cavity, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchiole, alveoli, Lungs, diaphragm. Nostrils. Holes of the nose are called nostrils. These are paired openings that open up into the nasal chambers. Nasal cavity. It is divided into two nasal chambers by the nasal septum. Each nasal chamber consists of three regions, that is, vestibular, respiratory and olfactory regions.
Larynx Larynx contains vocal cords, the sound producing elastic fibers called voice box. There is a little difference in the size of the larynx in man and woman. It grows larger and becomes prominent in man, and therefore it is called Adam's apple in man. Human larynx consists of glottis, cartilages, hyoid bone, thyroid membrane, vocal cords, laryngeal ligaments and muscles. Glottis is an opening in the floor of pharynx leading to larynx. There are nine pieces of cartilages. Three are single and three are paired. Epiglottis is a leaf-like structure that prevents the entry of food into respiratory tract during swallowing. Trachea The trachea or windpipe is a continuation of the larynx. Trachea is supported by incomplete C-shaped rings of hyaline cartilages. The mucosa of trachea is lined with a ciliated pseudo-stratified epithelium containing mucus-secreting globlet cells, which helps in pushing mucus out. Bronchi A bronchus, plural bronchi, adjective bronchial, is a passage of airway in the respiratory tract that conducts air into the lungs. Bronchiole The bronchus branches into smaller tubes, which in turn become bronchioles. No gas exchange takes place in this part of the lungs. Alveoli The alveoli are the ultimate structural and physiological units of lungs. Alveoli provide great surface area, like villi of intestine in mammals, for gases exchange by diffusion. Gases exchange occurs across the respiratory members of the alveoli. Lungs Each lung is covered by double membrane called pleury. The outer covering membrane of lung is called parietal pleura. The inner covering membrane of lung is called visceral pleura. In human, the right lung has the three lobes and left lung has two lobes. Diaphragm The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscular structure separating the thoracic and abdominal cavities. The diaphragm is characteristic of mammals. The diaphragm is supplied by the phrenic nerves. Puncturing of diaphragm results in stoppage of breathing and is fatal. Respiratory and pulmonary volumes and capacities. There are four respiratory volumes. Tidal volume, TV. Inspiratory reserve volume, IRV. Expiratory reserve volume, ERV. Residual volume, RV. And four respiratory capacities, inspiratory capacity, IC. Functional residual capacity, FRC. Vital capacity, VC. And total lung capacity, TLC. The recording of breathing is known as a spirogram. The quantities of air that lungs can receive, hold and expel under different conditions are called pulmonary volumes and combination of two or more pulmonary volumes are called pulmonary capacities. The apparatus commonly used to measure the pulmonary volume is a spirometer or respirometer. Transport of gases in blood. Oxygen transport. 98.5% of oxygen is transported by blood with the help of the respiratory pigment hemoglobin present in erythrocytes, RBCs. One molecule of hemoglobin can carry as much as four oxygen molecules. One gram of hemoglobin binds about 1.34 ml of oxygen. Thus, 100 ml of pure blood carries about 20 ml of oxygen. Carbon dioxide transport. Transport of carbon dioxide by blood is much easier than that of oxygen due to high solubility of CO2 in water. About 7% of CO2 is transported as dissolved in plasma, 23% as carbaminohemoglobin, and 
as bicarbonates. Most of the CO2 is transported by blood in the form of sodium bicarbonate in plasma. Respiratory Quotient, RQ Respiratory quotient is the ratio of volume of CO2 released to volume of O2 absorbed. RQ varies for substrate to substrate. Therefore, determination of RQ can give valuable information about the nature of the substrate being used for respiration and the types of metabolism. Ill effects of smoking Tobacco smoke has a number of toxic chemicals which cause ill effects on human health. It is responsible for lung cancer, coughing, bronchitis, emphysema, and carbon monoxide poisoning. Did you know ATP is the energy currency for most cellular processes? The energy released during the process of respiration is used to make an ATP molecule from ADP and inorganic phosphate. Endothermic processes in the cell then use this ATP to drive the reactions. When the terminal phosphate linkage in ATP is broken using water, the energy equivalent to 30.5 kJ per mol is released. ATP can be used in the cells for the contraction of muscles, protein synthesis, conduction of nervous impulses and many other activities. If the alveolar surface were spread out, it would cover about 80 meters square. If diffusion were to move oxygen in our body, it is estimated that it would take three years for a molecule of oxygen to get to our toes from our lungs. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Breathing involves two processes inspiration and expiration. Rib muscles and diaphragm help in breathing. Aerobic respiration takes place with the help of oxygen and is responsible for complete breakdown of hexose into carbon dioxide and water. Anaerobic respiration is incomplete breakdown of substrate in the absence of oxygen. Lower organisms show body surface respiration, while higher organisms have special respiratory organs like skin in annelids, trachea in insects, skin and lungs in amphibians, gills in crustaceans and fishes, and lungs in reptiles, birds and mammals. Respiratory system of man is formed of nostrils, nasal chamber, glottis, trachea, bronchi and bronchial intercom inside the human lungs. Tobacco smoke has a number of toxic chemicals which cause ill effects on human health. It is responsible for lung cancer, coughing, bronchitis, emphysema and carbon monoxide poisoning.